probably seen them on the bay. Huge container ships, longer than several football fields, moving heavy equipment like cars and farm machinery. They're putting two of us on this ship because it's big and slow. Bay Bulletin is taking you in closer to the hair-raising work of a bay pilot, thanks to retired pilot Bill Bann. Um, I've not piloted that ship, but I've piloted a, a sister ship to that. Before he left the job, Ban reported several videos showing the movement from a pilot boat to a ship. Yeah, it's going to be interesting getting off. For 41 years, Ban was responsible for bringing these ships into the Baltimore port from Virginia. That's about 150 nautical miles. We consider ourselves to be the guardians of the bay. His expertise developed from a typical route for Bay pilots, finishing maritime school, going to sea for several years, entering an apprentice program, and then becoming a junior pilot for four years before settling in as a senior pilot and buying into the Association of Maryland Pilots. We know if there's dredging going on up in the port, we know all of the depths of the uh, of the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, we're not in the chart room looking at a chart to see what the next move is. We, we, know, we know the route. Bay pilots take control of the ship's navigational movements from the captain. It takes about 10 hours to go from several miles out in the ocean off Virginia Beach to the Baltimore port. Pretty foggy this morning. You almost not see the top of the ship. Now there are about 65 other Maryland pilots who are responsible for climbing what's called a Jacob's Ladder when both the boat and ship are moving. The climbs are often at night or early morning and in all weather conditions that can cause these heavy ships to roll side to side. What happens is that the, the ladder swings out and then bangs into the side of the ship. It also descends, the ladder descends because the ship is leaning over this way and then the ship will roll back this way and might pick the ladder up over your head. So you have to wait for the opportune moment to put your foot on the ladder. When you step on that ladder, you start climbing as quickly as you can because you don't know if the next roll is going to roll it even lower and you could get actually knocked off the ladder by the pilot boat. We talked to Ban following two deadly accidents with New York pilots in less than a year, both involving falls from ladders. Maybe some corrections could be made. Ban calls it the most reliable entrance onto ships, but it's risky. They should take another look at these trapdoor accommodation ladders and see what it is that would cause that fall. Bill writes about one of his own close calls coming up in the November issue of Chesapeake Bay Magazine. The older you get, folks, <laughs> uh, the more you think about getting on and off that ladder. A big climb. He's off the ladder now with memories of a career he cherishes. Two months of work on and one month off for more than four decades. Good luck to you. A little luck goes a long way when scaling this ladder to command the ship. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.